Hello and welcome to Shareability Uganda. My name is Pius Kaziwa and in this self-study lesson today we shall be looking at uh, germination and crops in P4 science. We shall be discussing types of germination crops, perennial crops and annual crops. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and uh, liking vi this video. Uh, let's go. Uh, germination. Germ what is germination? Basically, germination is usually the growth of a plant contained within a seed. When you put a seed, let's say a maize seed, in the when you dig a hole in the soil and put it there and then it grows, that is what we call germination, the growth of a plant contained within a seed. When you plant a bean seed, you shall get beans. If we plant maize, we shall get maize. We have two types of germination, basically. We have hypogeal germination and we have uh, epogeal germination. Hypogeal germination is the type of germination which is typical for both the monocot and dicot, dicot seeds, where cotyledons remain inside the soil. Let me hope you know what a cotyledon is. If you have, if you don't have any idea about cotyledons, you should consider watching a video where we describe seeds. Uh, in the picture below, we we, we we show you the cotyledon and uh, how hypogeal hypogeal germination takes place. Uh, without wasting time, let us go to epigeal germination. Epigeal germination, the cotyledons are pushed above the ground, not like hypogeal germination where cotyledons remain in the ground, but for for epigeal germination, the cotyledon are pushed up the ground. We have two pictures below here, uh, which are illustrate uh, hypogeal germination and epogeal germination. The first picture here, we can see that the cotyledon remained in the ground. Uh, that yellow thing you can see next to the roots. And then in the second picture, we see that uh, the cotyledon is above the ground. That, that, that small thing you see above the ground, that brown thing in the second picture. Let us move on. Uh, we have conditions necessary for germination to take place. You don't just put a seed there and it grows on its own. There are some conditions that are necessary for the seed to germination. And one, and amongst them we have water, uh, we have temperature, sorry, we have water, oxygen, and temperature. Uh, in higher temperatures, like the desert, the seed will not germinate. And in lower temperatures, like if there is a lot of coldness in the soil, there is no way germination can take place. And another condition that we didn't con include here, uh, okay, it is not a condition, but uh, it is, uh, let me say it is, uh, uh, sorry, like soil. Soil is also necessary for for the for, for germination to take place because we can't just put our seeds anywhere and expect them to to germinate. Like the, there are some condition, favorable conditions and places where a seed can take place, but the most important ones you should note are water, oxygen, and temperature. They are the most necessary conditions for germinations for germination of seeds to take place. Let us proceed. Uh, like we said, we, are, we were going to discuss about germination and crops. Let us switch to crops. What is a crop? A crop or a plant is a product that can be grown, is a, that can be grown and harvested extensively for profit or subsistence. Like you have seen maize crops, tea crops grown on uh, a large scale. That is what we call a crop. 
for profit or for commercial for commercial use common crops that we have we have millet we have tea crops we have uh, sorghum we have rice we have cassava cocoa those are the main crops uh, that are mainly grown around uganda and some other countries you can see in uganda we do, there are some crops that are very hard to grow like apples like uh, wheat but these are the common crops we that are grown here on our land uh, the main groups of crops we have uh, perennial crops and annual crops perennial crops are basically crops that don't need to be replanted each year after harvest they automatically grow back for example in this picture you can see cocoa cocoa is a crop that that do not need to be replanted you plant it once and after it has grown it continues bearing fruits throughout the year until you until the plant grows old and you may me, me, me replace it for other crops they need to be replanted throughout the year after a season then you have to replant it after that season you 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 harvest the fruits and then you cut down you have to replant it that is the difference between annual crops and perennial crops perennial crops once planted you don't have to replant you continue harvesting throughout the year for annual crops you have to replant after harvesting you clear the garden you replant the seeds for annual crops it's different and uh, for this short video there are four i'll end here for today thank you for watching please subscribe so that you may be notified when we upload uh, other videos thank you for watching thank you for liking this video god bless you